What about sex hormone binding globulin testosterone? There's thoughts that if you eat no carbs and only eat meat, that um, your SHBG goes up and then therefore your testosterone drops. And that's why we need carbs again to support this area. So first of all, sex hormone binding globulin absolutely is higher in people on carnivore diets. It does go up. We monitor this. We can see it. Um, it's uh it's very, very clear to see and very easy for us to see. So um, the question is, is this a problem? The mm -hmm. old thinking used to be that sex hormone binding globulin would bind to testosterone and that would prevent the testosterone from being active. inactive. So the truth is we now know that sex hormone binding globulin bound to testosterone still has physiological activity. So this fear about elevated sex hormone binding globulin um, basically preventing your testosterone from having any physiological effect. That's not true. Further to that, if we have a look at what we call the lean mass hyperresponder phenotype, so mm -hmm. I'm sure your listeners will be familiar with Dave Feldman. So that's when people go on ketogenic style diets and their LDL cholesterol goes up, their triglycerides go down, their HDL cholesterol goes up. So as a part of that phenotype, I add sex hormone binding globulin. So it's my observations that when people start having those high levels of LDL, almost always they're having a very high level of sex hormone binding globulin. So it's not just isolated to carnivores, but I suspect that because carnivore is such a, a low carbohydrate and can be a high fat diet, that we're seeing that lean mass hyperresponder phenotype and I certainly don't see any problems with that. There's multiple things that make sex hormone binding globulin going up and down. But if I'm seeing it as a picture of that improved lipid status, that higher LDL, uh, higher HDL and lower triglycerides and also LDL, then that does not impair athletic or physical performance at all. So what we do see is that people with chronic inflammatory conditions, and one of the most common reasons people go on a carnivore diet is to manage inflammatory bowel disease. Well, these kind of conditions are usually associated with very low testosterone levels. The usual pattern we see is that when people eliminate inflammatory conditions, that their testosterone levels are restored to where they should be. Testosterone has what we call diurnal variation and it will spike. So if you measure it at different times of the day, you'll have a different level. Yes. 